Hi, my name is Anthony Polvanelli from Bud Smell Motor Cars in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. I'm here today to give you a how-to video on how to both pair your Apple iPhone to the Mercedes-Benz Command interface, as well as how to operate the Apple CarPlay with our new smartphone integration. First, we're going to go ahead and pair the phone. So to do that, I'm actually going to start on sort of the home screen or the favorites screen. This can be accessed very easily from any of our command systems by pressing the star icon to the right of the command controller or on equipped cars by pressing the star icon on the touchpad. Once on that screen, simply go to the icon where it says telephone. Another way to do it also is if you have the physical button that says TEL on the console, you can do it that way. Simply click where it says telephone, and you'll find that we are now on the Bluetooth screen. Now, right now, of course, it says no Bluetooth phone is authorized, but we're going to go ahead and connect one. So we are going to go down here to where it says connect device. So we're going to pull back on the control wheel here. And once the word connect device is highlighted, we're going to click on it. And then we are going to click where it says connect new device. So it's going to ask if I want to connect it via the vehicle, which I do. And it's going to begin searching for the vehicle. Now, something you're going to want to do while this process is happening is you're going to also want to engage your phone to search. So, I'm going to temporarily stop the search on here so that we can pair them at the same time. And I'm going to click on the settings option here. You'll notice that on your iPhone, you're going to have an option for Bluetooth. You're going to want to click on that option. I like to start with the catcher turned off. I find that it makes for a rather easy pairing process if you have both devices searching for each other at the same time. So right now, this is turned off, this is not searching, and I'm gonna start them both up. So we're gonna search from here on the car, and we're gonna turn that little switch on. You'll notice it's lit green when it's on, and you'll find that it found the phone rather quick. So we're gonna click on the iPhone, and we're gonna say that we do wanna connect it as the new phone on the car. You can have up to 10 devices paired to the car, but only one synced with it at a time. You'll notice there is this code that has been generated by the phone itself. We're going to go ahead and click on pair. And it is going to ask us if we want to allow the contacts to sync with the car, which we're going to go ahead and do. And that's about it. So the Bluetooth is now paired to the car. A good way you can see this is not only is the phone now listed on the bottom of the connect screen, but you'll see in the upper right of the command screen, the uh, cell phone reception is coming through. You'll see some bars there as well as how much battery life your phone has. Something else you'll also be able to do once it has synced is you can click where it says name and you'll notice your contacts have synced. If this doesn't happen right away, don't worry. Occasionally, if you have a lot more contacts, it can take a couple of minutes for them all to sync over. Now, we're also going to cover the Apple CarPlay. So Apple CarPlay runs from a different icon on this setup. It actually, within the telephone menu, there is a couple of other options. So. Something that we do on the command interface is we have these what we call carousels. So within each of these five menus, notice we're on the phone screen that we were on before, we can actually click once again on the telephone button and pull up the telephone carousel. So you'll notice there's kind of this little round robin of different icons we can choose. For right now, we're going to pick the one that says Apple CarPlay. We've never paired a device to this car, so we're just going to do this the first time around. This is something that once you have done it a few times, the car is going to pretty much automatically find it when you plug in. Another side note, there are two USBs in the center console of most of our command system cars. The icon to the left does have a photo of this is just sort of the universal serial bus icon, whereas the slot to the side has what looks like a phone and a tablet sitting side by side. You do want to make sure you're plugged into the slot with that phone icon. So in this case, it's the second slot. The first slot will still do a lot of stuff for you, but it won't do the Apple CarPlay. And once there, you'll notice that once I plugged in, it came right up and said a new CarPlay device has been connected. Should Apple CarPlay start automatically? And I'm going to choose yes this little message here that I have to accept or decline is just the first time. That's just letting you know what you can do and can't do with Apple CarPlay, stuff like that. And it's asking me actually on the iPhone 2, is it okay to go ahead and operate this with the phone locked? I suggest saying allow. That way you don't have to be using your phone while you're using Apple CarPlay, kind of makes sense. So we're just gonna set the phone down for a moment 
And what's really cool is we can actually operate a lot of the phone's features without even touching our phone right now. On this phone right now, we can do things like view phone calls. We can view iMaps. We can pull up quite a bit of information. We can pull up our texts. Would you like to hear? YouTube, whole bunch of cool stuff, all right from the car. You can even access things like Siri, all from the icon on the side, or by using the voice activation button on your steering wheel. If you ever want to exit Apple CarPlay, there's two ways to do it. One is you can click on any of these other keys to access another functionality of the car. For example, if you want to switch back over to the radio, you can do so. Or the other option is you can very, very simply, and I'll go back to the CarPlay here for a moment, unplug your phone. And it just goes back to how it looked before. So once your phone's unplugged, you'll notice all these options have gone back to how they used to look. So that is the Bluetooth pairing and smartphone integration for any Apple iPhone on the command system with Mercedes-Benz.